Jack here, JBF Music and Guitar Lessons. In this quick guitar tricks we're looking at Ingvi Malmsteen's Octave Sliding Band. He uses this live all the time and it really adds this kind of sense of urgency and tension to the soloing. I'll also go over the other octave tricks that I did in the intro there as well. <coughs> After hitting this note here, we slide up to the 22nd fret and then bend it a tone. Ideally adding a rather wide vibrato, which you could even think of as very fast bending. And a little bit slower. Obviously you can do this with other notes, but in the key of E or E flat I suppose because Ingrid tends to tune down, uh, this is the highest note we'll usually go for because we're bending up to an E from the D here. Oops. There we go. Uh, you can slide into this note and then bend it, or when you get to the note, you can hit it again for a little bit more attack. It's totally up to you. So next, if you remember the early days of YouTube and a video called Insanely Amazing Guitar Solo, well worth a listen, check out the card in the top right for that. In particular this bit is where I first saw this next trick. What we're doing here is tapping B on the 19th fret, pulling off to the 7th fret, which is also B, then sliding it all the way back up the octave and repeating this motion. Last time there, I'm just more or less sliding off the fretboard. Uh, check out that card for more on notes beyond the fretboard. And uh, next up is a more Steve Vai or John Petrucci sending idea, sweeping octave intervals and just raking through every other string. I've got a G on this A string, and I'm sweeping down through the muted D string, hitting a G on the G string, raking through the muted B string, and hitting the last G on the high E string. Uh, it's the same idea coming back down. Uh, here my first finger is just dampening the strings so they give that kind of percussive muted effect. this sound you can move it up through the scale or even onto different strings. When we think of octaves it's generally on the same string up 12 frets, or the classic octave shapes that we just looked at. Uh, but as you get further up the fretboard where the frets are smaller and closer together it becomes possible to play an octave across two adjacent strings and that's what I'm doing here. And that's what I'm doing here, just going between this higher B and this lower one. To wrap things up we've got pinching an octave higher. I'm aiming for where the 24th fret would be to get an octave from this 12th fret. For me it's probably just on the top of this uh, pole piece here. It might change slightly depending on the scale length of your guitar, but if you're playing a strap type guitar with 22 frets, a safe bet is probably around that area. So like I say what I'm doing is holding down this note. Aiming for where the pinch is roughly an octave higher, and then hitting it. Uh, the the Joseph Trani pinch knife uses a similar idea to this lesson card on the top right. So this again, a little bit slower. And 
And the next trick is incredibly similar, but I'm putting my finger where the 24th fret would be for an artificial harmonic. A lesson card in the top right for more on that sort of thing. And uh, last but not least, the thimble trick. I've stolen this from Ron Thal, who you might know as Bumblefoot, and he played for Guns N' Roses a few years back as a tutorial card up there on more of his thimble tricks. And the trick seemed to have gotten Ron's approval, which I thought was just awesome. Uh, but yeah, I mean, you could use a slide, the edge of a coin, uh, even the edge of a pick, uh, ideally a metal plectrum, but a thimble is going to be the best. But yeah, uh, just tap where that 24th fret would be, and voila! For five cool Octopacks or wherever I've ended up titling this video as, this has been Quick Tricks. That's the playlist there for more Malmsteen because let's face it, more is more. More is more. Check out this video. If you've enjoyed this and want to stay up to date with the channel and help it out, hit subscribe, share, like, comment and enable notifications with that little bell on the side if you feel so inclined. Cheers guys.